Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this Two Minute Tuesday, I want to show you how we can automatically execute cron jobs inside of Wayscript X. Let's jump right in. Starting off, we'll create a new layer. I'm already inside of one here. And now let's go and create a new file. We'll call it jobs.sh. This will be the shell script that we want to execute automatically at some time interval. Let's put in some simple shell code here. So we'll write a new file with this contents to contents.txt. And then we'll run a Python script called job1.py. Let's make that Python script, jobs1.py. And I'll just take a little bit of code and paste it in. None of this code is too important. I just want to show you how to automatically run this shell script. So our shell script has a few tasks that we need to do. It writes the new file and it runs this Python script. Awesome. Now let's set this up on a cron job so it automatically executes at an interval. We can do that using the dot triggers file in the top left. We'll select new trigger and we'll hit cron. What cron gives us access to is a command to run and a mode that we can use. In this mode, we have all sorts of different options. And in this example, we'll do a custom cron syntax. And what that means is we can customize when we want our script to run. Now in our command to run, we'll need to execute our jobs.sh file. And we can do that by using bash, which is just the interpreter, and call that file. For our custom cron, let's go to a resource here and find one of these that looks good. So we'll do this one here. We'll take this and copy it, go back to our setting, and paste it in. If you want to use this resource too, then I'll make sure it's linked down below in the description. And at this point, what we could do is we could click run and we'll do that just to show you. This will execute our bash jobs.sh and we see the files populate. So it doesn't matter our custom cron syntax that we put in here if we just select run, but we want this to be automatic. At this point, to get this set up to fire automatically, we need this prod version. That prod version can be found once we deploy. So we'll deploy this and we'll go back. And now we have this prod version set up. That means that this trigger we've set up here will fire at our custom cron syntax, which was at four on every day of the month from the 8th through the 14th. So I hope that makes sense. And as always, if you have any questions, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.